Fire trucks are the ultimate symbols of safety and protection. Ensuring that a fire truck and all its components are working as they should is what ultimately saves lives. Historically, fire service was limited to one type of apparatus, a pump that was pulled manually by a horse or a steam-driven pump. Today, we see many types of firefighting apparatus such as engines, mini rescues, bone trucks, tankers, and air and light trucks. While most of these trucks look alike at first glance, NFB Standard 1710 establishes a 320 second or 5 minutes and 20 seconds response time goal for not less than 90% of these type incidents. Helping members of the fire services community to live healthier and happier. A firefighting pump is a centrifugal pump which is used for pumping firefighting water. Firefighting pumps can be designed for transportable use, e.g., on firefighting vehicles. Portable fire monitors can be deployed quickly when the situation requires. Fire nozzles can provide a constant flow or allow firefighters to select the most appropriate flow rate and operating pressure for firefighting. A fire nozzle connects to a fire hose to deliver water or firefighting foam to extinguish a fire. Homes had roofs and windows missing after they were gutted. London Fire Brigade had its busiest day since the Second World War as record temperatures led to dozens of fires across the capital, with the service taking 2,670 calls, compared with around 350 on a normal day. No one died but more than 40 houses and shops were destroyed after a number of significant grass fires spread to nearby buildings, including in Wennington, Dagenham and Canton. About 20 other properties were lost elsewhere in England. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for being here and helping to make this YouTube channel this thing we do all possible.